All right, it's time to check in with Ben Bredigan once again from OnX. Ben, did you have a good 4th of July? I did. I It was a great time spent up north of the lake, but my rule of thumb is once the 4th of July is over, summer is pretty much over, it's time to focus on hunting season. Yeah, so it, It's not far away, really. I know, exactly. So I apologize all to the, all the diehard fishermen, <laughs> but I'm done with it. You can have it. <laughs> it's that time of year, too. I mean, we got a fishing trip. Uh, Dan Amundsen is with us here too. And we got a fishing trip to Lake of the Woods coming up that we're pretty excited about. But yeah, I mean, uh, August is right around the corner. You got an early Canada goose season uh, coming up in, in some states. And then uh, September 1 is is not far away. You got the dove season. And then, of course, in Minnesota, we got early teal this year and er, uh, September Canada goose season, all that good stuff. But Ben, I'm really excited. You and I both have uh, new dogs, some puppies. I don't know. I don't know if you're planning on hunting. I, I can't remember how old your dog is. I don't know if you're planning on hunting your new dog yet this year, but I've got Tiny, and I'm pretty excited mm-hmm. to get her out for the first time chasing some pheasants around. So it's going to be one of those years probably where I'm, where I'm doing a lot of walking by myself or me and Dan or me and some buddies that know it's going to be – it might be a bit of a circus out there with the new dog as she uh, you know, kind of learns the ins and the outs of it. But uh, I'm excited to do some upland hunting this year. Yeah, I am as well. That that my young pup, uh, he'll be about six months old come mm-hmm. September. So, perfect time to get out and just soak soak everything up, um, learn about wild birds. So, I'm fired up too, and I've got a got a big fall plan. If nothing else, just to try to get him on as many birds as possible. But selfishly, because I'm on as well. Yeah, well, I know uh, you take a lot of trips to chase birds around in uh across the country do you have some some things in the works already i saw didn't didn't onyx just do like a um maybe a preview of some some upland bird hunting uh in different states around the country yeah kind of the you know the best bird states for 2021 and the one caveat with that is is you know the weather's changing so uh there's a drought in lots of different areas of the west so that kind of changes things but uh, what I like to tell people is the birds are going to be out there, whether, you know, the numbers are a little bit better, or a little bit worse. There's always birds out there. And, you know, it, it's it's you can go out and use your Onyx maps and find them wherever you are. So that's uh, that's available on the Onyx website. Yep. You can go to our uh, Onyx maps dot com and, and click on the blog section and, and read about the top upland states for 2021 kind of all around the country from pheasants to grouse to prairie grouse quail everything in between so what were some of the best states are you gonna make us go to the website and read it Uh, no (laughs) (laughs) you know it's it's nothing surprising for a lot of the upland guys it's gonna be your yeah north dakota south dakota kansas Um, right now kansas is not seeing the drought that let's just say Montana or in Arizona are seeing. So uh, could bode well for numbers, especially quail, you know, really as long as it doesn't get super wet, uh, quail seem to do okay in the dry weather. And um, so that's going to be, be one of the good ones for this year, in my opinion, um, barring any natural disasters. So <laughs> That's interesting to hear. I hadn't heard who is kind of experiencing these drier conditions. Um, that's interesting to hear that some of those states are avoiding some of the, the drought-like con- conditions that we've got up here. Yeah, if you go to uh, – it's, it's if you search U.S. drought monitor, um, you can kind of see what they have for, you know, what areas are, are in drought, what areas are not. So really um, – you know, the Southwest is hurting pretty bad, but even South Dakota, yeah, it's in, in a drought, but similar to Minnesota, there's areas of, of North Dakota, uh, North Central North Dakota that are bad. Uh, so we'll see. Let's just cross our fingers for rain. Well, we got a little bit here in Western Minnesota. I know last week, uh, I'm sure the farmers could use a little bit more. Um, how's, how's the training coming for that young pup of yours? It's, it's coming along, you know, he's, he's gotten to the point now where he is out of that puppy stage, kind of, he's still a puppy, but he's starting to figure out, all right, these are wild birds or not wild birds, but like, these are pigeons. I really like these things. So uh, I'm going to go run with the purpose now and try to find them. So it's getting to that fun stage and, 
Um, right now, it's it's really about setting him setting himself up for future years. So building that foundation. So in year two, year three, he's really a really a solid bird dog. You're running pointers. Is there is there one particular upland bird species species that uh, that you prefer running pointers with that you you would say you know I'm glad I have a pointer for for hunting this bird right now. Is there one particularly that you prefer over the other? Yeah, a hundred percent. Anytime you're out west, let's just take Montana for example. That is big country. It's not you know crp thick cover cattails it's miles and miles of open prairie and those big running pointing dogs just do so well on on sharp tails on huns in particular um, just because they'll range two three four five up to 800 yards out finding birds they'll lock them down a lot of those times those birds hold better in the early season so that's where a pointing dog really excels those blogs uh, that Onyx has where you can see some of these best upland, uh, best states for upland bird hunting. Can you get that through the app too? No, only online. Oh, it's on the website. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, why don't you tell us once again where to find that and where to get the app for people that don't have it, Ben? Yep. So if you want to go check out the top upland states for 2021, you can go to onyxmaps.com and scroll down to the blog section. Or if you want to download Onyx Maps, you can get it where you find your apps, either on the App Store or Google Play. Type in Onyx Map, hit download, get your free seven-day trial. Check it out. Ben Bredigan, thank you very much. Thanks, Brett. Onyx Hunt. Ever heard of it? Next time you see that guy at your local shop who always punches his tag on a stud whitetail, ask him. He'll tell you about the most trusted source for mapping. With nationwide landowner names, private and public land boundaries, including walk-in areas, map tools to mark spots, and the ability to view your maps without cell service. And that's just scratching the surface. It's your time to be known as the big buck guy around town. Download the leader in hunt mapping on Google Play or the App Store. On X Hunt, know where you stand. Hear more at sportingjournalradio.com or wherever you get podcasts.